Hello, everybody. We're here again with Dragon Tan to talk about what's happening to the resale HCB and also in the private apartments and the condos. So, uh, so Dragon, yesterday you shared a lot about the state of the rental market. So, can you please tell me right now what is the state right now in HCB and condo? Okay, so uh, first and foremost, let us start from the basic. First, let's HDB market. Mm. So first of all, congratulations, Sifu. Uh, there are few transactions around your vicinity where you stay. is more than 1 million. I have predicted correctly last year is that it? your house will reach 1 million. Please check it out. Gong si, gong si. Okay, while well, you talk, yeah. okay, go on. But uh, anyway, uh, you're already a multi-million. Uh, so this amount of money, I don't think that uh, it, it means I, anything I to you. I also feel shocked if it goes yeah, down. Yeah. Not, okay. not, gong I always call it KKK asset. La. Okay. I conquer Kiawa, then uh, if ever I sell my HCB, you know, I might be able to go to so, Malaysia, la, so but meaning, then no use. Uh. So meaning coming forward, la, one more generation, 30 years later, right? Or possibly probably la, half the Singaporean will be multi-millionaire or millionaire with uh, more legacy planning. That is being it, HDB. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm uh, staying at Mason at the apartment, executive apartment is now 1.08 million. Gong si, gong si. And then uh, there's one 1.02, which is now uh, uh Mason. So yeah, it's gone up quite a lot. Okay. Gong si ni fa anyway, Gong si ni fa Paper kai. wealth. Uh, yeah. bo wan, uh, uh. Boom, right through Unless you sell, then you yeah. realize. And then I uh, could buy what? You know, okay. stay in BTO. So, 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 so coming 30 years later, one more generation will have more Singaporean or probably half who are millionaire due to the inheritance from HTB private property. So this is, is a, something that I'm going to foresee in the next 30 years. But now to say is that uh, I foresee there'll be more uh, HTB that will attain 1 million in sales value or transaction value this year. Probably well, more. Why, than... is it, why is there such a huge demand for HTB? Okay, currently based on my sentiment in the ground, uh, yep. not only I do team building, I do training, sure. but I need to do How sales. many agents do you have now? Uh, I have probably the 60 plus. Cool, wow. yeah, 60 so, uh, people. So... Your pulse must be very good, man. Oh, thank you. Thank All you. the things... Uh, uh, the ground. Thanks, thanks for the trust. So I need to be the, on the ground so that I have a good feel and I can share with my agent as well. Current is because there's not enough supply. And why is there not enough supply? You remember that the, the private property owner who sold their houses back then, the uh, 15, the 15 months, month time bar. Wait. So effectively from early this year, the 15 month time bar uh, is already attained and uh, they are coming to the market. And these oh. are the group of owner probably who are holding on to a few millions of dollars. They are buying the it's one. Throw cash at the HDB. Yes, correct. Throw cash at the U. So these are the group of people who are probably buying the HDB that are more than 1 million to, to even 1.5 plus million. Oh. Uh, and that is the first time. Uh, unless the father, mother, and you know, you know, they call it uh, the PAP program. You know, it's PAP program, parent assistant program. <laughs> yeah, and it's true. Uh, no joke, it's true. Okay. It's happening. Uh, Singaporean very home one. Singaporean parents then is okay that inside. Okay, uh, but That's of course, a very Asian culture. Uh, not not my parents lah for sure. Uh, <laughs> but it's a lot of parents who okay. which, uh, they're very lucky. Yeah. Uh, no, this is one group of people. Now, second group of people is because remember um around one and a half years back there was an increase in uh, the housing grant for people who are buying into the resale HDB market. Up, up to 100,000, something 100 like that. 100,000. Oh. Oh. your income, first-timer, proximity grant. So this has, it's something like uh, injected uh, stimulus into the market. And that's why it, it somehow, it caused an increased demand for the HDB resale market. The price go up. Yeah, the, you, you you increase the, the grant, the price go up, you cancel the effect. Yeah, yeah, anyway. And of course, uh, currently we are facing that uh, there are some houses with COV, 50,000, 100,000, especially in those uh, 100,000. Like cash over valuation, exactly. 100,000. Uh, and in those, people buy. In those areas, in the prime, in the prime HDB area. Wow. Because government introduced you the, this uh, prime HDB, plus HDB as well, where, uh, you know, in, in certain locations, second half onward, where uh, the new BTO around the MRT, they have to attain the 10-year NOP. In the city fringe area, the prime HDB for the newer BTO, you have to attain 10 years of MOP as well. And this has actually driven or drove a lot of buyer to buy this area around the MRT or the prime area. I see. And they are willing to pay a premium. I see. For I the see. existing resale market that's not affected by the new policy. That explains why currently right now, the huge increase in demand from the 15-month uh, wait uh, people and also the new uh, HDB grant, all this stimulated market go up. The new policy on the prime HDB, prime class, all this. I see. So okay. these are the things in place. Uh, we see it, um, in certain places, the open house, right? You can have uh, 20, 30 groups come. Good area, good location. 20, 30. All right. And then in some cases, we can see COV, 20K, 50K, even 100K. 
Wow. It's that's coming a, back. That's, that's a lot. Back. That's a lot of money, it's right? Crazy. Wow. And the HDB market is very important because uh, a lot of the, the condo that is in the mass market, it depends on the HDB upgrader. If the HDB continue to do well, there'll be a support in the uh, mass market condo as well. That is true. So currently, the, no doubt, despite the fact that I shared with you earlier on about the rental market is softening, but I don't see any softening in the HDB the resale market. I don't see any softening in the, the mass market resale condo. I see. Anything that's within 1.6 million, um, the three bedroom are doing very well because our supply is uh, is quite limited as well. Now we switch to condo. So you're saying that uh, those uh, mass market condo, that means not those in the central region, the CCR, right? Those are doing well. And how, how well oh, is well? Not really CCR. Uh, CCR is uh, softening a lot. Recently, there's this uh, new launch, uh, Lambic at uh, Zion Road, as well as this uh, River Valley Green Parcel A. Uh, seems like the land price has dropped significantly by 20 to 30 percent. Land price drop, correct. Compared to Ooh. the previous ago, compared wow. to the previous, um, uh, I'm just stating facts, some facts here. Compared to the previous bits like Jakim Road, um, the, the land price used to be thousand seven to thousand eight over near, but right now, the recent uh, land bid that was uh, last week and uh, last month, Zion Road was around thousand two to thousand three. So there was a drop around 20, 30 percent. I see. So it's, a, it's, it's really a prime a, area, CCR. Why the, the prime area demand is not so high and uh, prices are softening? It, it can be that developer is uh is more careful, more cautious in their land bid as well. Sure. Given the high interest environment. Let's not forget, developer when they buy land, a uh, few hundred million, they also need eh, borrow. seven to eight hundred yeah, million. Yeah, yeah. How about construction costs? Yeah. It's yeah. all interest, eh. it's very high. Yeah. So developer is cautious as well. Cautious overall on the overall the global economy and uh, the local demand as well. And, so, and there's the money laundering uh, case, the, the Fujian Pang, the Hokkien Gang. Uh. Well, uh, does it have an impact uh, on, on the central region? Oh, well, quite a lot. Like, there's some really? billions of dollars. Like. Oh. So I guess that, uh, I would I, say, by, by I, the way, I don't the to, Singapore government is the biggest win I don't want to comment whether there's a big impact or small impact. Like, okay. But I believe that it's still money, right? Billions mm. of dollars, like, sir, who? in the property, like, billions. Like, they bought houses, 20, 30 units. Like, it's a the. I see. Okay. So, so basically, I, I think that... And, and other money launderers now also scared. Oh, yeah. Not only the Fu Jian Pang. She got a lot of Hainanese Pang, Tiu Chai Pang, right? Possible. Pang, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Possible. Yeah. Sure so, so basically, um, I think that not only them affecting the CCR. Of course, they go for CCR. I don't sure. think they go to uh, Tampines, uh, Bedot, uh, Sengkang, Pongo. Yeah, I got so much money. Uh, you know, falling on me. Uh, I also go and stay in uh, Hard Orchard Road. Correct. So this is what happening now. Uh, CCR is uh, quite down a lot. And CCI is all the world, uh, more like investor playground, a uh, foreigner playground. And foreigner ABSD increased by 60% or they increased oh. up to 60%. I don't oh. think they want to buy unless they got on a PR. They set up a family office, they got on a PR. Then they'll buy because PR pay 5% ABSD. Oh, so they take I see, time. I see. At least uh, three years. You need to be here at least two to three years. The, the problem is not idiot, right? They, 60, 60% ABSD. All right. So you need time for really? them to bring in their funds, uh, significant see, contribution I see, I see. and uh, of certain economy value to Singapore okay. before they got in the PR take years okay. as well. Okay. Right. So CCR, you know, not so, not so I good. think very quiet. Eh. Mass very market is still, when you say okay means stable, go down, go up or, or what? Uh, for the mass market, I think doing well because HTB is doing well. Okay. So typically the mass market HTB or the, uh, the mass market, called, sorry, the condo in the OCR as well as the resale EC are doing relatively well. Uh, supply is still very limited. Uh, anything less than 1.6 million for the three bedroom is still moving. Two bedroom can be as high as 1.1 to 1.15 million. Two bedroom, like, 700 plus square feet. Two it's, bedroom. Like. HTB is also becoming like condo price relief. But HDB, yeah. of course, is bigger. Of course. Yeah, of course. EA, EM, of course. over 1 million. Of course. Of course. Yours probably will be heading towards 1.2 million. Uh, so long there's no policy to cut out you. Pa yeah. Paper wealth. Yeah. So so everything also depends on government policy. So uh, we need to monitor the government policy. Number two is that um, we need to monitor what's the land sales. The upcoming land sales will be the one at Apple Pocket Tima, De Zosa. Uh, another one is at uh, Canberra Crescent. It's a private condo. So I need to monitor what is the Lambic price. Now, the Lambic price is like COE. If the COE goes up, resale ah, car value goes of up. Of course, of course. If the COE goes down, resale car value goes down. I so see. So Lambic is like a COE. If the Lambic keep going up, the resale condo will should go up. I see. If the Lambic start to go down, much lower than uh, what is anticipated in the mass market, I have the feeling that uh, the resale price for the mass market condo will not hold. So it's correlated. I see. But I don't think we will come to this stage here. But it's just that people are being cautious because of a high interest environment. Mm. And the high interest environment is expected to last, continue for a long time. So, Sifu, 
basically this is how uh, I'm not economist, but this is how I see government policy are more like a soft lending or probably gradual, very stable. It don't be any major in Singapore. Up and down, very drastic. That's true. I'm very for sure. Yeah. yeah. So last question, landed. I know very few of us stay in landed, but there are right any uh, okay. house on the landed property. Uh, landed the transaction is very stable. Uh, the total volume I just uh I just went to take a look a few days back. The number of volume transaction for last year, first half, and currently right now is about the same. No much different. Uh, of course, the peak was two years ago. We, we have uh, 2,000 plus resale transaction for landed two years back. Uh, now, uh, as compared to last year, last year only 1,000. So yeah, the peak is in 2021, 2022. I see. So I of see. course, uh, number of transactions is so expensive now. Forty people. percent. Yeah. Nobody can afford. Yeah. Uh, the price went up as a lot as well. I see. So uh, landed wise, you have to factor a few things because a lot of people when they buy landed, they thought that they have the down payment one over million. I just buy a land. But let's not forget when you buy an old landed, you need to tear down and rebuild. Oh, <laughs> okay. I have a cheap landed in Malaysia. Oh, uh, the renovation costs are now that we all want to tear up everything. So, the tall, tall, tall. So tall. Uh, Singapore is more tall because the construction cost, the workers' yeah, levy, okay. all these Luckily, things are very tall. Is cheap, yeah. So let's not forget, if you buy a lender that's 4 million plus, uh, you take probably 75% loan, you tear down, rebuild two years, and then you need to find some place to rent for transit for two years. Your rental cost probably cost around uh, $50,000 a year, two years, 100K. You need to reconstruct probably one over a million, 1 million to 1.2 million. Easily, eh? Yes. And then let's not forget, uh, these are the sunken costs. And then every month, you need to pay interest for the loan. So this is like a developer already. Wow, next level. Okay. Your interest can be ten plus thousand dollar a month. Yeah. So two years, right? Two three hundred k. This is a sunken. I, I have less sympathy for the landed people because they are very very rich. So it's okay. But but sad to say is that uh, not sad to say. I think uh, in a way that is uh, fortunate to say. Um, a lot of landed buyer they thought that they have a down payment to pay for that twenty five percent and stamp fee. They can happily uh, you know just well afford. But it's just that they never foresee that wow, the cost of rebuilding. Uh, and the time that they need to rebuild the house um, and then they need to uh, go somewhere for transit, the sunken cost is very high. Interesting insight. Yeah. So, well, anyway, uh, again, you know, if you need any uh, professional service on real estate, look for him. Don't look for me. Uh. Okay. Landed HCB and condo as well. Look for him. Don't look for me. Okay. Yeah. He's really good in this. Yeah. So, uh, thank you again for joining our show. Okay. We'll see you again in a month or two when there are new developments coming up. Okay. See you guys. Okay. Bye-bye.